Aloha family and welcome to another time that we can be together and encourage one another through the word of God in seasons of faith. Ecclesiastes chapter three and verse one says, to everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven. Psalms 104, 19 says, he made the moon to mark the seasons and the sun knows when to go down. Psalms 102 verse 27 says, but you remain the same and your years will never end. You see, God is with us in every season of our lives. The seasons of the year in the different hemispheres, regardless of the time of year, the, nor the northern and southern hemispheres always experience opposite seasons. And this is because during summer or winter, one part of the planet is more directly exposed to the rays of the sun than the other part. And this exposure alternates as the earth revolves in its orbit. When the northern hemisphere is in winter, the southern hemisphere will be in summer. You didn't expect to be a part of like a astronomy class, but it's because seasons are based on the sun's rays on that part of the earth. When I read that, I recognized that God wants us to put him, the son, S-O-N, the son of God, Jesus, the word, the leadership of the Holy Spirit shining in every season of our lives. Let's put him in there with us. We have to choose to live by faith in a faithful God. You see that word season means a set time, a situation, an opportunity, a change, a time that we can become hardened or seasoned or matured. It can be a good season or it's an in and out of season. It's really about opportunities. It's about divisions, intervals, changes, periods, occasions. You see, God is wanting us to see that during the course of our lives, we will experience many different seasons. Just like the weather goes from cold to warm to hot to cold again, we will inevitably experience on our own, our own hot and our own cold, these seasons of being happy or sad or facing difficulties or feeling like there's a great flow and everything's well. Yet it's important for us to recognize that seasons of life are simply seasons and we're not meant to dwell in them for our entire lives. These seasons are intended to change, to ebb and flow and to grow and subside. Yet thankfully, God provides us plenty of hope and encouragement in his word. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Psalms 31 verses 14 and 15 says, but as for me, I trust in you, Lord. I say you are my God. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. And Galatians 6, 9 says, and let us not grow weary while doing good for in due season, we will reap if we do not lose heart. And therefore the Bible says in 2 Corinthians, do not lose heart. Even though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is being renewed day by day. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, is working for us, a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. For God is not unjust to forget our work and labor of love, family. See, in all the seasons of life, God will show himself strong. You, Lord God, have shown toward me as I've ministered to you as a saint of God. And you will desire that each one of us show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. Verse 12 says that you do not become sluggish, but imitate th those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. So basically family, we must stay in faith in every season, amen? I just sense God's presence embracing us right now in whatever season we're facing. He's saying to us, Look to me, trust me. Have an expectation that I will be your faithful God. And I see your heart. 
Don't grow weary in your well-doing. In whatever season you're in, if you say, gosh, I'm always the one to forgive. I, I seem to be in always the forgiving season. When others are seemingly in the unforgiving or uh, the challenging uh, situation of a season and I'm being challenged by them, but I've got to always forgive. Well, you know what? Whatever it is that we're facing, yes, we have to be doers of the word and not hearers only. The seasons come and the seasons go, good or bad, in and out, hot or cold. Let's just keep our eyes on Jesus. I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to you. I sing a song of surrender to you, Lord, for you've been faithful. So faithful to me And I choose to look to you, my God I look to your everlasting word I choose to yield my life To your plan and purpose, my God In every season of life trust you, God. I trust you, God. I look to you. I place my faith and my reliance on you, God. So have your way each and every day, my God. Show yourself strong, Lord God strengthening our bodies right now, strengthening our minds and our emotions. He says, I'm with you never to leave you nor forsake you. Just keep your eyes on me, says the Spirit of grace. Let's stay in faith in every season, family. He loves us and he's with us. God bless you and know that God's presence will continue to be embracing you throughout our day. In Jesus' name, aloha.